Hi, welcome back to Smart Moms March Mommy Online Timeout. Um, I intended on talking about the all day timeout today. Um, however, um, we're not going to be able to do that. So we've had a death in the family, unfortunately. And instead, I'm going to talk about the 10 day, very unexpected trip that we had to make. So um, hopefully, it'll help everybody if they're in that same situation. Dustin, if you want to go and play a little bit. Um, basically what happened was um, I had already gone to therapy, two sessions actually, and as well as the dentist, and um, I got the call of the dentist office from my husband that we had to leave that evening and take a 21 hour trip up north to, um, to see uh, our, our family of course too, but basically for the funeral. Um, I did not have Dustin attend to that, so if anybody's curious, I just didn't think that was something uh, for Dustin, so as far as he was concerned, it was a family visitation. Um, we didn't have much time to prep, so the best I could do was use my weekly calendar that I've mentioned in past videos. Um, I came home and went to that after packing up a few things, and I just basically showed Dustin that it was going to take a long trip and that it was going to go into the following day because we drove that 21 hours straight without stopping. Um, so basically, we went to the calendar, uh, acknowledged that, and I carried a calendar on our trip as well just to kind of re you know, go back to it when he was asking about when we were going to be going home, which was quite often. Um, when we got to our destination, we stayed with his, um, my husband's brother, and we found a spot for Dustin. I even brought all of his comfy toys, his tent to sleep in, uh, anything to make him feel comfortable because we were going to be there for 10 days. It's a very long trip for Dustin. So we eventually went to a blank piece of paper. I carried on my weekly schedule, just as if I were at home, and I kept him as routine as I possibly could. Um, I went to Tuesdays um, and did our Goodwill and our McDonald's. Of course, we didn't have our therapy day, but it kept him on somewhat of a routine. We also did bowling because those are things he likes to do, and it's familiar to him. Um, on account of that, every evening, of course, it was the hardest time for him because it wasn't home, so I would have to revert back to the calendar again, and he would see for himself that it's, it's bedtime at Uncle Ronnie's house is the way I would state it. And then by the time it got to our 10 days when we had to go home, he would see that it would say, time to go back home to Dustin's home, and it's going to be a long trip. So, of course, even though he knew it was going to be a long trip at this point, he was ready to go. So I have... Quite a few pictures I wanted to share with everybody, and you'll clearly see it went really well. Um, I was quite surprised with him and very proud of him. Um, we had no meltdowns whatsoever in light of all of the transitions he had to make. Um, so in the meantime, I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you um, in case you're ever in a situation where you have to get up and not and just take these guys out of the world abruptly and not have many prompts to give them. Um, it does work very well if you're consistent. I can't say that enough. Keeping them routine, keeping them on schedule. I know it's a lot to take in, but I really, really believe that made our 10-day trip so much easier to get through. So in the meantime, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the all-day timeout, most likely in May. Um, in April, we are going to SeaWorld for an autism event, and I'm sure I'll have some wonderful pictures to share with you then. And uh, if you need anything uh, else from me as far as questions or inquiries about where the next time out is, of course, you have my email. And uh, until then, I hope this helps everyone like it's helped us. Take care.